welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin and today I'm going to do a whole chicken on my LSG pellet grill. Uh, getting it started up. i uh, going to warm it up to 350 degrees for this chicken. Now I'm hoping or I'm betting that most of you have never seen a whole chicken cooked this way. I saw it on Instagram. I cannot for the life of me find it again. I was going to go back make sure I did it right. Just from memory, I think I'm going to do it right. We'll find out, right? Uh, if I could have found it, I would have gave the person credit on Instagram. I don't know who did it. Uh, if any of you know what this style is called, please let me know in your comments below. Uh, anyway, get this warmed up 350. Let's go inside. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, and hopefully the way I prepare this chicken works out. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We got our whole chicken, and this is what I remember from the uh, quick clip I saw on Instagram. And what they did was uh, they cut the chicken legs, like you're going to separate the legs and, and uh, thighs from your chicken after it's done cooking. Uh, but they're doing it while it's raw. If I can get some of this skin cut, just like this, and they just keep slicing it in separating the breast part from the thighs just like that there's a couple little bones in there and cut a little bit more just like that there's a lot of a lot of nasty stuff in here pull that out in a second let me flip this over okay look at that and that is how this looked now it's not pushing down quite like I like it so I'll clean something up underneath on the other side cut off some of the excess fat this stuff in the middle ah it's just like blood and everything in there here it is right here I pulled all that out you just want to clean it up definitely want to clean it up clean up cut off the excess fat and uh, just excess pee you could see if you try this you'll see what I'm talking about what you need to clean up Got a little pile going right there. Okay. So let me get this pile cleaned up out of here. Let me see what all I'm working with. Turn it over again, see if it fits. Yeah. It's kind of fitting, not quite right. There's a bone. There's a bone right here I need to bust. So I'll just bust the bone. If you got any little tiny bones that broke off, just take them out. Anyway, this is definitely a different way. I think that's better. Let me see how that works. Seems to fit a little bit better. I'm going to cut this skin here on the sides a little more. Just puncture it like that. There, that's better. Okay, now this is what I saw. And it definitely is different. I mean, look at this thing. I'm going to dry it off really, really well. That'll help the skin crisp up when it's cooking. So I flipped it over. I've got this Texas dust, oil dust from uh, Odessa, Texas, when I was out there visiting family. We're going to give that a try on this chicken. It smells really good. So I'm going to go ahead and season the underside. And then once I got it all evenly coated, I'm going to flip him over. Again. I want to kind of get any moisture on it off. If you can let it sit out for a couple hours, go for it, or in the fridge overnight. Especially if you got your rub on there. And actually, since this is so dry, the rub's not sticky. And I'm going to spray some butter spray on here. Just to help the rub stick to the chicken. And plus, it'll also help crisp up the skin. Alright, now we'll get the rub. You just want to sprinkle whatever your whatever rub you like on chicken works great. This is what I'm using today. So there you go. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but look at that. It looks like a bug. <laughs> look at this thing. Isn't that crazy looking? When I saw that, I'm like, I have to try making this. I'm just glad I remembered how they did it. Let's take it outside. Okay, my uh, lone star grills pellet grill is heated up to 350 degrees and uh, man what do you think of that 
It's not a spatchcock click chicken. Looks like an alien kind of, huh? Or a giant frog. <laughs> it is definitely different. Sorry, I don't remember the person uh, that I saw it on Instagram. Again, if you're watching, let me know. Let me know if that's called something. I Googled it. I searched everywhere. I never saw anything with this kind of a, of a preparation for chicken. We're going to give it a try. I've got my uh, meat stick X in here. We're going to take that chicken breast up to 165, pull it off, and enjoy it. So let's get this thing in the Lone Star right now. All right, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I did end up uh, moving this to a wire rack just to make it easier and uh, less touching. All right, there it is. Once again, I'm going to put it up here on the uh, upper rack. We're going to let it ride. Oh, sorry, let me get you in there. We're gonna let it ride just like that. Again, got the meat stick. I don't know if I need to adjust that at all. That's, we're just gonna let it go. <laughs> we'll see in a little bit, we'll check on it. All right, our little uh, alien chicken or whatever we're gonna call it. It's been on there for an hour. Looking pretty good. The meat stick's reading at 120 right now, so uh, let me just pull that out. Everything's looking good. Let me just flip this around. Ah, where'd my other gloves go? Let me just flip this around. Look at that thing. <laughs> All right. Just let it keep rolling until it's done telling me it's ready so let's uh, check this out and pull it out right. Ooh, look at that pull this tray out a little bit look at that mm -hmm. all right see that I think it looks crazy when you look at it like this so anyway we'll pull this off let it rest about 10 minutes or so cut into it look at that <laughs> doesn't that look crazy all right now I'm not even sure where to start never trimmed one like this but uh, hey the wing pulled right off so that's done and uh, the drummy's right here but uh, I don't know maybe I should go after the breast part let me just cut off a piece of the breast and we'll see how it is inside well it cuts really well looks juicy look at that I don't know if you can see that but that is juicy nice all right let me cut another slice of this off definitely slices very easy very tender look at that okay just a couple slices of the breast look at how juicy that is now let me cut off uh see how the leg is here just cut it down like this find where that bone is yeah. yeah somewhere right in here look at that fall off piece fell off right there look at that fall apart goodness all right now the uh thigh i'm just gonna pull that up slice it right off that easy man this is gonna be so good all right now let me just uh, go ahead and separate the breast off of one side of this thing just so we uh, can get our plates ready to eat slice it right here I do have a piece of the little chicken drummy there uh, next to the breast I need to get that cut off as well look at that nice there's that drummy. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we got enough cut up for dinner. Now let's take it outside and we'll do a taste test. All right, how about that? I think, you know, I mean, I don't even know what to call this thing. It's not a spatchcock chicken. I'm just going to call it an alien chicken because it looks like a little alien. Uh, turned out nice and juicy. The breast, nice and juicy. We're going to try that. Mmm, mmm, man. 
that almost tastes like a rotisserie chicken. That Texas dust rub that's on here, that stuff's pretty good. Mmm. Nice and moist. Mmm. Got to try the drumming. It's falling apart. Or the drumstick, the chicken leg. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Absolutely amazing. Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill did it again. Mmm. Man, the flavors. It's so good. All right. Didn't bring a napkin. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Give this a try. It's a different way of cutting a chicken. The breast came out nice and juicy. The legs, I tempt them. They were at 175. They're falling apart. Man. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. We'll be back.